Good morning and welcome back to another edition of Gary's Movie Emporium for uh, Saturday the 17th of October. Um, final part of the Dollar Tree. <laughs> yeah, I ended up uh, wrapping it up in this video today. Um, and that's, I don't know how many I have it in total to begin with, but it's well into the hundreds. Uh, I don't know how many I got. So, this box does have uh, like seven or eight titles that were from the Dollar General or um, Big Lots. But the rest of this is uh, Dollar Tree. And then I got four or five more over here. Okay, we'll get started. Okay. Right off the top here. Gardens of the Night. Uh, starring Julian Jacobs, John Malkovich, and uh, Tom Arnold. It's a film by uh, Damian Harris. It's Garden, Gardens of the Night. It's rated R. Uh, from 2008. 110 minutes on this uh, movie title here. And then next up, we have an animated collection. Uh, it has Animals United, Thor, Adventure... Planet, Dear Dracula, Under Wraps, Monsters Hol Monstrous Holiday, Rover's Travel, Axel, and uh, Delhi Safari. And uh, this is 10 movies on this one. If you can see it there. It's an Echo Bridge from 2018. Uh, these are all pretty much full length except for Dear Dracula monstrous holiday and under wraps the rest the rest are pretty much uh full length there and i yeah i think this might have been from wall or uh a kmart title at one point just by the tag and that's uh the animated collection set of 10 movies kids titles and then next up, we have The Honeymooners Christmas Laughter. I just like the cover of this. More or less just grabbed it because, you know, I know of, of The Honeymooners. It's one disc. It's from 55 to 56. 4 by 3 ratio. Nearly three hours of entertainment on this one. Uh, it's from CBS DVD and Paramount Pictures. Uh, it says all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even Ralph Cram Cramden. Get caught up in the classic hilarity of the Honeymooners' long Christmas episode, Twas the Night Before Christmas. And since you've been good all year, this holiday package also includes five more all time favorite episodes. And the ep bonus episodes are TV or Not TV, The Golfer, Better Living Through TV, The Man from Space, and The $99,000 Answer. So, get quite a bit for a dollar on this one. There's the back. Plus, it's a TV classic. Uh, next, I got uh, one starring Alex Esso, Georgie De Burris. Uh, it's called Red Island, Awaken the Evil. I, I know I've showed this one before. Uh, I think it's an SP releasing as well. Oh, no, Stardust Pictures. Okay, I thought it might have been. It said SP, and I thought it might have been SP releasing it's stardust pictures uh in conjunction with handshake uh partners um it's 86 minutes very hard to see what year it is yeah i'm not i'm not seeing a year on this one um pretty recent though it's red island and there's the back I've read this one before, so I think I'll hold off on read, you know, reading list about today. If you need to check past videos, you can always look and see what I read about it in that one. But uh, it's Red Island. That one looks pretty good. And then I got one, a hard-hitting slice of darkness. Uh, it says Dread Central. It has more Marjana Ali U E. I don't know how you think that's how you sp I, I'm not sure. Mel Rado. She's dying to take care of you. It's broken. Kind of has that uh, Samara look to it a little bit. Uh, 
It's uh, not rated. 98 minutes. It's considered a thriller. It's an uh, ITN and uh, E1 distributed title here. Evie, a young female, escapes her past and flees to England in a desperate attempt to, for her better, for a better life after surviving surviving a harrowing upbringing. Left with few options, she takes a job as an agency caregiver and is quickly placed with John, a bitter and uh, resentful tetraplegic who wants to do nothing more than party. John and his friends make Evie's life a living hell, and she finds herself trapped in the center of their aggressive, drunken behavior, scared for her life and haunted by the nightmares she was running from. Evie starts to slowly crack. It's only a matter of time before someone snaps. Uh, the only bonus feature on this is a commentary, so it's pretty basic. Uh, it's from Vistar Limited and uh, WSG Entertainment, in conjunction with Golden Finch Entertainment. And it's broken. Pretty cool cover there, though. I like that. <clears throat> well, next up, mixed bag of things here. Uh, very rare to get this one in, in this wave. Uh, it's called Jurassic Predator. They said it was extinct. They were wrong. The only one I think I ever saw in the whole, whole uh, wave. Uh, it's not rated. It's a front ITN and E1 distributed title. It's a sci-fi horror. It's classified as. It's 90 minutes. It's from our Vista Entertainment, uh, 2K picture or K2 Pictures and Leverage Entertainment. Uh, stars Mark Shepard, Elena Lyons, Paul Wall, Lacey Minshew, Caleb Michelson, Ricky Wayne, and Scott Schwartz. And Lachlan Monroe as Sheriff uh, Richards in this one. Uh, basically, it's about a 50 foot long uh, reptile that's underwater, apparently, must uh, wreak havoc on a small little uh, secluded town, I guess. Uh, and so I guess it takes place in the wetlands or whatever, where this creature's. Uh, Makes home. So, also stars uh, Paul Wall from Grandma's Boy. Um, pretty basic, but sounds pretty good. And that's uh, Jurassic Predator. I love the cover to that one. Really nice touch. Uh, and then I got Bride of Scarecrow here. Um, not to confuse this with anything to do with Wild Eye, this is not from them. Uh, I do know they have, uh, I think they do have some Scarecrow titles. I'm not sure on that though. Uh, it's an ITN and E1 distributed title here. Uh, when a failing radio host finds out that she has inherited a farmhouse from a family she never knew she had, she leaves her job and sets off to the countryside. Once there, she discovers that the farm has a dark history of people disappearing, never to be heard from again. Digging deeper for answers, she realizes this farm is cursed by something evil, and now it's looking to take and it's looking to take a bride. Uh, it's 5.1 on this one, 90 minutes from 2018, and that's uh, Bride of uh, Scarecrow. <clears throat> and then next up, I got a double feature here. I had to open it. I thought it was loose. It's uh, Losers and Rock and Roller. But uh, there's the it's got a digital code in here too. Uh, maybe I'll, I think I'll just show that if somebody wants it. Just uh, so you can go to Voodoo uh, and Flickster and if you can't get it on that. And here we go with the code. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So if you didn't get a chance to get that, you could always hit me up in the comments, but you should have been able to get that. I held it up for a decent amount of time. Uh it has rock and roll and the losers. I really like the losers uh case or the cover art too. It's shiny, it's kinda of that uh 
you know, I'll call it platinum look to it. Uh, rock and Roll is a Warner Brothers title, as is The Losers. And this is a, a Warner's double feature release here. Uh, Losers is 97 minutes, Rock and Roll is 115. Uh, Losers is PG-13, while Rock and Roll is rated R. Uh, Zoe Saldana st stars in The Losers. Um, well, they don't tell an awful lot about Rock. Oh, and then Gerard Butler and Dandy Newton playing Rock and Roll. So... Should know who that is too. Yeah, there's some decent amount of cast members on both uh, Ben and stuff, so I don't know much about really either movie. I remember them, but not. They weren't very, like, you know, they didn't exactly gel at the box office when they came out. And then I got Christian Nairn, Brian Blessed, and Ben Freeman, and Robin Hood the Rebellion, a legend, nobleman, outlaw. Uh, this is uh, not rated, 92 minutes. I believe this might have come from a Canadian uh, shipment, just because it's got the Nordic, Quebec Nordic uh, symbol on the back here. Uh, I think I've read this one before. It's pretty much self-explanatory. It's Robin Hood. You know, pretty much, you know, he steals from the rich to give to the poor. I don't know if that's what he does in that, but... Consensus says that's probably what's going to happen in that. Uh, and then the Nine Christmas movie pack here. Uh, the Great Rupert, Scrooge, Santa and the Three Bears, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Santa Claus, the Christmas Visitor, the Christmas Burrow, and a Christmas Visit. Uh, this was a 2016 Echo Bridge uh, transition disc. Uh, so it has 444 minutes on it, so it's got a lot of everything on here. Uh, pretty much, eh, pretty much full full length here. And uh, this uh, Christmas visits 11 minutes. Rudolph's nine minutes. Christmas visitors seven. Little Christmas Burrow is 25, but the like six or five or six of the rest of them are like, you know, they're like full length pretty much but uh that's a Chris, Christmas uh, movie pack here or show Chris slash Christmas movie pack here but can't go wrong with that and then uh next up I got uh the Great American Western I uh, Savage Guns, the Sundowners, the, Gat the, the Gatlin Gun, and the Bushwhackers. Enhanced with 5.1 stereo on this one. It's volume 12. Uh, it says you can collect them all. There's over 40 volumes in this uh, uh, current uh, particular saga, I guess you could say. There's uh, 40, over 40 volumes, and this is, like I said, this is volume 12. Uh, Savage Guns is from 1971. Sundowners is from 1950. The Gatling Guns from 1972. And the Bushwhackers is from 1951. They're all at over 60 minutes or more on this, so. Uh, yeah, this is 327 minutes of approximate elapsed time on this. Uh, black and white and some color. It's from 2004 Echo Bridge line. So, a lot of these probably are public domain. Some of them, I'd imagine. But there's that. Uh, the Great American Western. Just look kind of neat. Never seen that one. Um, then I got a sci fi collection Voyage to the Prehistoric Planet. Three bonus movies here. It has a Praxis, which starts off. Uh, Former wrestler Jesse the Body Ventura. I've seen that one. That one's pretty alright for what it is. That was a 1991 title, 86 minutes long. It's more like a kind of like a chase them, chase them up, shoot at people kind of sci-fi thriller 
kind of like more like not really what I'd call a prehistoric, you know, themed disc here. They came from beyond space. I've never seen this. 1967. And the first spaceship on Venus is a 1960 title, 78 minutes. Uh, this is from the Echo Bridge uh, 2015 uh, line here that they did. So, it was released like five years ago. Four films over five hours. There's the back. Next up, I got. I was kind of hesitant on this because the first one or two with Poison Ivy series is kind of like kind of too raunchy for my liking because like if you wanted to watch it it's just kind of uncomfortable you know you almost have to watch it alone because I don't know it's just the seduction scenes and stuff were kind of first one was really creepy I and mean, it had Drew Barrymore and she's borderline underage and or you know around that age where I don't know, it kind of felt pedophilic, you know what I mean, and uh, it's Poison Ivy, their secret society, the seduction continues, I I just got it more or less because it looked like it could be kind of a thriller, but uh, it's from 2008, 95 minutes, I mean if this is your kind of thing, I, uh, you know, I can respect that, but I, I don't know, I just... I don't know, I like more like the full-on thriller type movies, you know, kind of like uh, when a stranger calls back or something like, you know, something like that. Uh, it includes both widescreen and full screen uh, formats on this one. Uh, it's 95 minutes if I didn't say. 2008 title. I uh, don't even really recognize the, or any of the actors that play in this. I don't recognize anyone. So as uh, one of the actor actresses played in Degrassi, The Next Generation. That's probably why I I grew up watching the original Degrassi. Uh, but uh, it's Poison Ivy, the secret society. And then next up, I got more on my kind of movie here uh, from the studio that brought you Train to Busan. It's called Rampant. This has zombies in it as well. Really cool uh, zombie effects based on the back cover here. Uh, it's uh, I'm trying to see what year. Oh, 122 minutes. It's uh, language is Korean, but it does have English subtitles. 5.1 stereo. I'm trying to see what year it is. Oh, 2018. So this is really recent. But if it's in the vein of Train, train to Busan, it should be great. And then I got this classic. I had to take it out of the cover. Because um, the cover that I got, I got it home. And along the spine, I don't know if you can see it there. I don't know if stuff setting on top of each other for a great deal of time brought out this def defection here. But, uh... The, the cover art on the spine started splitting like like a box cutter it went from like here up and I had to get inside and take the slip cover or the cover art out and I taped it in the inside so it kind of stays together uh, but it kind of also has like that like it's decaying kind of look like like, because of this, like, this movie being about a vision of the body snatchers. So it kind of almost looks like it's a string going up the spine. I didn't un unintentionally made something look authentic. <laughs> and, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm alright with it, but if I could ever, if I get a chance, I want to get another, another disc. Because I don't like my art ripped at all. But, uh, it's, it's intact. It's not going to go anywhere, but just kind of annoying a little bit when you get looking at it. It's just kind of like, I don't like imperfections. I mean, I know things happen, but it's why I'm big on slip covers because half the time you get them at the Dollar Tree and they're either bent or there's pieces of them missing or the cover itself is kind of scuffed. Like, you know, just jam movies into the box. And what you do is you your, your front cover to your slip covers 
turn into sand, you know, basically sandpaper and it becomes like frictionized and so many times of pulling them in and out of the boxes when they put them on the shelf it's going to start wearing and tearing on that, cover, that slip cover and I don't really like that so I took it, the movie the 10 my last 10 that I had and I took that out and put this uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers in there uh, this is from 1978. This is the one with Donald uh, Sutherland and uh, Brooke Adams and Leonard Nimoy, as well as a brief cameo from a young uh, Jeff Goldblum. Um, it's uh, 1978, 117 minutes, if I didn't say it. It's full screen, and it does have widescreen, so it does have both options according to this. Uh, it's chillingly, thoroughly, and scary. Oh, chilling and thoroughly scary. Okay. I guess that's what they're trying to say. But uh, it was kind of weird how they wrote that. It's from uh, First Rate Suspense Thriller, says Newsday, and literally chills the blood, says Hollywood Reporter. I do agree. This is a really good rendition of uh, any body snatching movie I've ever saw. I remember when it debuted on HBO back in the day. I was like always intrigued to want to watch it because HBO back then was, you know, one of the greatest premiums at that time. That it just felt like you were at the cinema at your home like every week because they just back then HBO was great. I mean, I don't know what happened to them. I guess you know technology kind of killed their momentum, but still they were. Highly successful. Oh, and that and that came with uh, this that I had taken off. Like a cardboard, uh, I don't know, insert if you will. Uh, pretty cool here. Basically, that's the plant that creates all the chaos in the movie. Creates the body snatching, and then they harvest it and keep keep it going, and then they try to take over the earth. You know. If you haven't seen it, I recommend that you watch it. There's also a pretty good one with uh with um Meg Tilly too. Jennifer Tilly's older sister. Uh that's a really good one too. I, I always like that one. That one's a pretty good body snatcher title. And then next up we got Red Red Summer with a slip cover here. Uh, I think I've gotten this one before many times. Uh it's ninety minutes. Um, 2017, a group of friends travel to Mallorca to enjoy their ideal holiday. Unfortunately, they search for sun, beaches, and fun. Only leads them to the most inhospitable place of, on the, of the island. This will be the beginning of their nightmare. And it's Red Summer. Uh, it's an IT and distributed title. Scream, Run, or Die. This one looks kind of creepy as well here. Yeah, recovery. Who's following you? Yeah, that's some creepy looking guy on the back with like a scorpion mask kind of thing going on like in uh, Mortal Kombat. The night before her high school graduation, a recently uh, scorned Jesse decides to be uncharacteri uncharacteristically adventurous with the help of her brother, Miles, longtime crush Logan, and a new friend Kim. But when Kim sprints away with Jesse's phone from a chaotic nightclub, they mostly quickly track. They must quickly track her down with, with a I find, find my iPhone app that trail ends at a decrepit downtown house that is desolate and terrifying. Fearing for Kim's safety, Jesse finds a way in, quickly revealing the dark history and brutal actions of the. Residents, a family that's hell bent on making her a flesh and blood member of the family. Vertical Entertainment. Once again, a movie, something to do with a iPhone app kind of thing going on. 2015, rated R. It says it's from Orion Pictures. It says it's based on a tr on true events, whether it is or not, or if it's kind of like stretch trues or whatever. That's another thing, but. But it looks pretty cool there. That's recovery. 
And next up, we got a sci-fi, uh, sure to be cheesy classic here. It stars Rourke Critchlow, Jeremy London, and Sean Patrick Flannery, who played uh, Powder in the movie Powder. Uh, it's called Scavengers. It's an RLJ Entertainment release here. Uh, 94 minutes. Fear the Void. The Starship Revelator's crew of Deep Space Scavengers have just discovered something. An alien artifact of mysterious and unmatchable power capable of threatening the balance of the, un of the known universe. So... I don't know if this is a team of, well, as it says, scavengers. They go around the, uh, you know, outer rim of the space and gather up, you know, things that they need for financial gain. And, you know, that's how they make their living. Uh, it's 94 minutes, if I didn't say. 2012 on this one. I had to have a, I'm pretty big on the sci-fi. Uh, stuff too as well so if you ever trade with me if you can't give me horror movies or whatever sci-fi school too depending if you know if I have it or whatever but I'm, I'm cool with that as well and then I got another lake fear too here the swamp uh, I think I've all, I've seen the first two lake fears I, I like both I don't I know it gets the first one got a lot of hate uh, get ripped apart on spring break, but the second one I thought was actually better than the first one very brutal movie uh, there's a Let's put it this way. There was a fetus in here that I just was like oh my god you know, I couldn't believe they got away with the scene uh, It's from 2016 80 minutes 2.0 It's an ITN and E1 distributed title it Has extras a trailer behind the scenes and outtakes uh, drink, tan, run for your life. For one unlucky group of thrill-seeking spring breakers, uh, their adventure leads to the black waters of the Florida Everglades, a place with tens of thousands of flesh-ripping alligators. Beyond the scope of the traditional predators is another phenomenon, one with two legs and an insatiable thirst for killing. Yeah, and these guys are really bloodthirsty in this movie. Seems like they kill just for the sake of watching blood squirt, you know, or whatever. But it's really a really brutal one. I'd have to warn you if you're not really into the blood uh, kind of thing or whatever. Uh, this isn't part of the Dollar Tree. I got this uh, exclusively on eBay. Uh, it's a classic 20 movie set here. It's the Undead Vampire Collection. Starts Bella Lugosi, John Carradine, Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, Vincent Price, and many more. And it comes like that. Comes, uh, I think there's four discs in here. But uh, that's the Undead Vampire Collection. It has a whole slew of stuff in here. Uh, Adam Age Vampire, The Bat, Blood of Dracula's uh, Castle, The Blood Bloody Vampire, Count Dracula and His Vampire Bride, Crypt of the Living Dead, the Devil Bat, Horrible Sexy Vampire, Horror Express, Ironbound Vampire, the Last Man on Earth, Nightmare Castle, Nosferatu, Primeval, Terror Creatures from the Grave. Uh, vampire Bat, Vampire Happening, Vampire Night. Vampire's Night Orgy, The Werewolf vs. Vampire Women, and The Witch's Mountain. These are all pretty much 70s and, and earlier titles on this one. So, And I believe that's a, yeah, this is a Mill Creek as well. So you Mill Creek collectors would probably be interested in that. And then now uh, that wrapped up. Well, no, that didn't wrap up the Dollar Tree quite yet. There's these Blu-rays right here. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, these are, the, and this is what I had left for the Blu-rays here. Uh, Barber Shop, the next cut. I guess which is on uh, part two. Someone out there 
could tell you. I don't know. I I've never watched any of these. These are this is PG thirteen. It's uh. Let's see, 112 minutes as uh, bonus materials, uh, trailer not rated. Uh, so this is in conjunction with uh, Warner Brothers, MGM, and New Line Cinema. But it is uh, mostly uh, branded with the Warner Brothers tag. So says it's one of the funniest movie in recent years. I'm trying to find a year for you here. Uh, 2016, so it's pretty recent. And then got twins here, another Killer Clowns uh, title here. Pretty much self-explanatory. This is uh, on a 50 gigabyte dual layer, so lots of I'm sure there's lots of bonuses on this when it you know with that size uh, layered disc. Uh, Probably really good quality, better than it was on DVD, I'd imagine. Uh, let's see, it's an MGM title. Uh, they keep saying we're going to get a sequel. Uh, I'm starting to lean towards I doubt it. But, I don't know. This is a classic, though. You can't go wrong with this movie. But those are extras. And then, uh, let's see, I got some more here. Got another one in the same vein as uh, Killer Clowns over there with Ch Chucky, Child's Play here. I can't remember if this was the only one I got or I had another one too, but uh, this is a uh, rated R, 20th Century Fox, a uh, United Artists collaborated uh, movie here. This will always be my favorite Child's Play, no matter what they do with bringing in Mark Hamill or whatever. To me, Brad Dorif is the voice of Chucky. Uh, it's from 1988, 87 minutes. It has a lot of bonus features on here. So, well done on that. Pretty much self-explanatory on Chucky. <laughs> and then, uh, I got two of these. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do. I have the other one over there. Uh, it's Jack Ketchum's The Lost. Uh, unrelenting, a vicious, abrasive film. Ain't it cool news? Uh, Jack Ketchum, I'm just going to warn you. If you don't know about him as a director, he is very, uh, like, very graphic. So if you're on the fence about getting this, this is an Anchor Bay title here. Uh, if you're on the fence about this one, you might want to watch some of his earlier titles. That like the girl next door, based you know that I don't I know he didn't do that, but they're saying it's a must see a slice of CNN CNN pie that corkscrews down into hell. Uh, Toby uh, Ho Toby Hooper, director of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, said that um, it's a rel relentless epic of human horror from the author of Off Off Season and the Girl Next Door. Uh, Basically, Jack Ketchum, uh, his movies are like really shock, like shock filled, like in terms of violence and like he's real, like I said, he's graphic. This isn't, like I said, an Anchor Bay and Whistler Productions release here, but uh, it's 119 minutes color, but uh, I do have two of those and if that's something you'd want to trade for, that's going to be up to you, but um, just gonna warn you, he's really graphic with his movies. Uh, and then I got Mutai Warrior here, The Last Samurai meets Ang Bak too. And I know I've gotten this before. Um, this is, uh, Wogo USA, 102 Minutes, Epic Pictures Group. Uh, not gonna read it. I've read, it basically it's based on actual events that took place in the 17th century during the a youth, a youth, a youthia period. A youth, I, I don't know. That's such a hard word to pronounce, but it's from 2011, 102 minutes. Language is Thai and Japanese with uh, English subtitles. So if you want to watch this, you know, in, in a known language, generally being English, 
Uh, you're going to have to watch it subtitled. And then I got uh, Killing Season here, starring Robert De Niro and John Travolta. Uh, this is an Echo Bridge from 2018. Uh, John Travolta plays a former S Serbian soldier. Uh, it's something to do with a hunting trip. Uh, or I guess they go hunting and it's like they kill. I don't know if they kill people out in the woods for fun or. Kind of almost sounds like surviving the game with um, iced tea. And it's uh, killing season. And then I got iron. Ironclad uh, Battle for Blood here. Um, the Turbo Accelerator release here. Uh, it's 2013, 108 minutes. Uh, it's like a, like a medieval period piece here. Kind of thing going on. Uh, it almost looks like around the time of like Braveheart or something like that. Because a guy in the back has a like the blue symbol, like uh, Mel Gibson did in Braveheart. Uh, yeah, that's Ironclad to Battle for Blood. And then I got this is the part where I'm not with the Dollar Tree now. This is all Dollar General and stuff that we got good buys on at uh, Big Lots. Got this at Big Lots. Ten Glo Cloverfield Lane. Two movie collection in Cloverfield. Uh, this is rated PG-13. Um, 2008. And this one. And then next, City Slickers starring Billy Crystal and Daniel Stern. And I, Bruno Kirby, I believe. Yeah, Bruno Kirby. I'm not going to leave him off that. He, it wouldn't be fair to him. He's passed on, and I'm not leaving his name off here because he was a vital part of this movie as well. Maybe he didn't have the billing as Billy Crystal and Daniel Stern, but he had his moments. And let's not forget it had Jack Palance in it as well. Uh, as well as the, uh, the brothers here that... Uh, on the ice cream company. They were really good in it as well. They were like a, a cheap knockoff of like Ben and Jerry's or whatever. Ice cream company owners. They were brothers that owned owned the company and they were wanting to be like go out here on this cattle drive and be real men I guess. But uh, Jack Palance is, was a great actor too and I'd like to send condolences for uh, him passing away so many years ago. He's a great character actor as well. Uh, this is from 1991, PG-13, Castle Rock Entertainment. A slew of special features on the back right there in the, the brown box there. Kind of like the backdrop of it, like over behind the can, like by the canyon, over there. But uh, that's quite a bit in there, on there, I should say. And then I got a really cool uh, movie here starring Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell. Uh, and Robert Zadar plays in this, who played uh, Maniac Cop. Uh, he's one of the prisoners in this. Oh, yeah, and then uh, Jack Palance is in this one as well. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Um, he doesn't get top billing in here much like Robert Zadar doesn't either. But uh, what is his name? He played in the movie um, The Horror Show with Lance Henriksen. Um, I, I can't remember his name, but I'll write it in the comments below who he, wa who he was. But... He's in this as well as one of the prisoners, but this is a really good movie. I only paid three bucks for this one. 
Uh, it's from 1989. Um, Warner Brothers, 104 minutes on that one. And then I got just three more. And I'm sorry it's 40 minutes, but this, this is the most movies I've showed in quite some time. Uh, $4.95 here. I paid for Chernobyl Diaries. Rated R. I really like this found footage film here. It's 86 minutes. It's from 2012. I really like the atmosphere in this one. I thought it was creepy. Uh, I've seen this one at the drive-in theater, I believe. I was always, I always loved it after I saw it. it says it's harrowing, unpredictable, and nail-biting. Says Steve Barton from Dread Central. I know it gets a lot of hate, but I really liked it. I had fun with it. And that saw uh, Chernobyl Diaries experience. The uh, fallout. Ten years ago, the Ukrainian government let tourists visit the area around Chernobyl. They said it was safe. It wasn't. It includes an alternate ending as well on this one. It's uh, from Oren Pelly, creator of Paranormal Activity. So, can't go wrong with this in my eyes. Plus, it's only five bucks for a Blu-ray. And then... Comedy, uh, comedy double feature here, starring Sandra Bullock. It's uh, Miss Congeniality 1 and Miss Congeniality 2. Four bucks on this. Uh, the first one's 110 minutes, while the second one's 115. Uh, I thought the first one was a lot better than the second one. Uh, I know they were similar and ideal kind of thing going on, but I just thought the execution for the first one was so much, like, it gelled better, whereas the second one was more of the same, and it wasn't half as good. Uh, first, uh, Miss Congeniality is from 2000, and Miss Congeniality 2 is uh, from 2005. And I take it this disc must have come out compilated on Blu-ray in 2010. I guess that's what they're trying to say. Um, yeah. I don't know what the movies you buy thing is, though. I don't know. Is that, I don't know if that's some company that, you know, just marks them down and that's what they slap on the back, or if that's just some marketing thing. But I only paid three ninety five for that. It's more or less my wife's movie, though. But I had to show it. I asked her if she minded. And then finally, this is hers as well. It's a, it's a vampire flick here, starring Mike Doyle. Estrella Warren, Nocturna, To Live Forever, First You Must Die. 295 on this one. Uh, it's not rated. 2014. 92 minutes. It's Christmas in New Orleans and children are mysteriously disappearing, vanishing without a trace. Detectives find a young young girl in the swamps and she leads them to the the den of the den of their captors. A group of merciless vampires who feed on the blood of children. So it kind of feels like this might be kind of like... This guy, I'm, looks like this is the guy that played in... Uh, it could be wrong, but it kind of almost looks like the guy who played in uh, The Strain. But I don't know if it is or not, but it kind of feels like the FX show The Strain, the plot of this one. Uh, with a cop chasing down... Uh, vampire like creatures but this one looks more like bona fide vampires or as opposed to those were like demonist like vampire kind of you know they had like tentacles that come off and snatch to they'd still be able to bite you uh, but this sounds like right up my alley too it's kind of like the strain that, that's what I'm gonna compare it to but uh that wraps up my haul and that wraps up all of Dollar Tree. As you can see, no more in the corner over there. All gone. The only box I got sitting there is uh, from Wild Eye. And that completes the Dollar Tree. And I finally got through all of that. And I hope you enjoyed the little bit of a path on the way to getting all of these shown on video. Because I don't like to buy them and not show everything I got. But uh, it was well over the 100, 100 movie range easy because um, it felt like I was showing them like for a while 
but I apologize about the length of the video, but I think I did pretty good considering that's the most I've done in a while. I kind of skipped over reading some of them to save some time, but uh, if you like this video, please share, like, and subscribe, and uh, I'll be doing these many more videos to come. Um, you're welcome to subscribe at any time. Um, if I have one complaint about my videos, is they're a little lengthy, but I've looked on, on YouTube, and people that have as, half as many movies sometimes take longer than what I'm doing right now. So I think I did pretty good. I knocked out all of what I got. And my next video probably won't be tomorrow, but the next day I want to do a review for Wild Eye because then I can kind of focus on that a little bit more. And you guys all stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye.